Alright. Uh, a certain first order reaction has a half life of 20 minutes. A calculate the rate constant for this reaction. B how much time is required for this reaction to be 75% complete. Well, for A, uh, the rate constant for a first order, that'd be natural log of 2 over the half life. Uh, or natural log of 2 over 20 minutes. I'll just leave it in units of uh, 1 over minutes, and that'll be 3.47 times 10 to the minus 2 per minute. And there's A. B. How much time is required for this reaction to be 75% complete? Well, let's first write the uh, uh, formula, uh, the integrated rate law. And there's multiple forms that exist. This one's going to be the most helpful because we're going to be solving for time. So I want time free for me to solve for it. Uh, I've got K. The hard thing is what's A over A naught? Um, A over A naught. That's the tricky part of this. Okay, it's 75% complete. However, this ratio represents what's left over. Let me tell you why. This is the initial amount, so it's the total. This is how much you have at time t, how much actually exists at time t. So this is the amount left over at time t. So if it's 75% complete, what percent is left over? 25. 25, but this is not a percent. It's a fraction. So I can't put 25 there. What do I put? 0.25? Yeah, 1 fourth or 0 0.25. Okay? Does that make sense how you figure this out? There's a lot of ways a question can be worded. It could have said, uh, how much time is required for the reaction to be 25%, you know, with uh, leftover material? So then you put 0.25 here. So uh, it, it could be worded in different ways. You've got to figure out what number would go there. Okay. Uh, okay, I'll solve the problem when you can't see it. T equals. You have to guess what I'm writing right now. Okay. T equals uh, minus 1 over K, natch log of A over A naught. Oh, too bad for you. Okay, I was not fast enough. Minus 1 over 3.47 times 10 to the minus 2. Natural log is 0 0.25. And that'll turn out to be 40 minutes. Make sure you get your units right. It has to be minutes because the k is 1 over minutes. And so since it's in the denominator, that turns out to be minutes in your final.